We were here last year as the doors open, and today we saw a lot of the same familiar faces, but even these loyal customers say their shopping habits are changing. You know that La La Loopsy uh, kitchen? For as long as Thanksgiving is synonymous with shopping, at 5 o'clock on this holiday Thursday, you'll find the Vangs outside camping. So I categorize by name. So yeah, 17 this year, last year was 16. For the sixth year now, Lucida and her family have chosen to spend Thanksgiving feasting on deals at the Clovis okay. Toys R Us. That's what we're doing here, is really just to connect with each other, enjoy the time out, girls' night out, shopping, and that's what we do best, right? <laughs> The woman spent the hour before in line, planning how to divide and conquer. You said the arena likes something like this? But when it came to execution this year, there were some complications. I have to be honest that um, the deals are not as significant as it was last year. The Vangs, like many others, have shifted their focus to online shopping. Even before stores opened Thursday, U.S. shoppers splurged more than $1.5 billion online. But retail analysts say foot traffic at actual stores is also making a comeback. It was overwhelming, so, um, but we just have to, we have a strategy that we work on, so one person stay watching the cards while the rest go and scout around and see what we want. Analysts say a strong labor market and stock markets are driving shoppers to malls. I save $112, so that's awesome. I'm going to be here back again because be, there's going to be certain things online that they don't have at the store. Yes, and vice versa. Deals or no deals for this family, some traditions can never be replaced by money. And if you like late night shopping, this Toys R Us is one of the few that will remain open until tomorrow evening. Several other stores like Target and Best Buy will be closing around midnight so they can restock and then reopen a few hours later. Reporting live from Clovis, Christina Fan, ABC 30, Action News.